what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about our Pico DS family of carriers. Um, just to give you a little background on where the Pico DS came from, the Pico DS, like most of our uh, existing products or products that we developed, it came from an end user requirement. So the FBI SOU or FBI SWAT came to us and they asked us to build an extremely lightweight plate carrier that was capable of supporting a load of a much larger vest and had that traditional trademark tier tactical bomb proof design that was going to last them a long time. Um, what we ended up with was a plate carrier that's lighter than two pounds empty and is scalable up to support any load. Just to go over the carrier in general, the standard Pico DS is a gusseted plate pocket built entirely out of PV or our plume of various material. So that's our Kevlar back nylon, um, stops, rips, tears, and lasts forever. Um, the gusseted plate pocket is built exactly to the shape of the plate that you're using. Um, why that's important is it cuts out on all that excess material that sometimes you get with other non-gusseted or internal plate pocket carriers. The front of the vest, you have a molly field and some hook and loop, hook and loop across the top. You've got some elastic waistbands around the outside of the front of the carrier. You've got our traditional kangaroo flap front where you can install or remove any style kangaroo flap. We make a whole bunch of them, 556, 762, slick, molly, kind of you name it. Um, the two flush buckles that are on the front side of the carrier are removable. Um, so you can take them off or add them on or replace them if necessary. Um, and what they do is they allow you to run a series of chest racks that we developed specifically for this line. Um, this particular one is our Pico DS CR001. Um, this particular chest rack holds four magazines. It's got our patented um, combat adjustable magazines on, on the front side. So you can run 762 or 556 in that chest rack. A GP pocket, two pistol magazine pockets that have magnets if you're running metal magazines, um, and then another GP pocket that's big enough to hold an M67 grenade. We make about six different variants of that chest rack. You can run those either on your carrier itself or in conjunction with an H harness if you wanted to take off your plate carrier, stick it in your pack or whatever, and run just a chest rack. It's particularly relevant in the sniper and reconnaissance community. Um, <clears throat> going to the back side of the standard Pico DS, you have our zip-on back panel feature. Um, it comes with, or you can have a flush back panel that you can molly things onto, or you could add additional accessories like our zip-on packs. Um, this particular pack is the uh, DAP DS, um, our direct action assault pack, um, DS variant. We also make this in a full-size variant that we'll cover when we talk about our larger full-size um, Epic system. But this is a collapsible pack. Um, it allows you the ability to run a 117 radio, communication ports at the top, hydration port on the back side, you can hang a camelback internally, GP pocket on the front, this one is non-padded, the bottom one is padded. Uh, again, from an end user requirement, that padding was specifically to protect controllers and things for UAVs that, that a lot of end users are using these days. Zips directly onto your back panel application, so you can zip it onto the carrier itself, or you can use its removable and installable shoulder straps and carry it independently. The nice thing about that is you leave the shoulder straps attached, zip the pack on your carrier. If you have your buddy take it off to work out of, you can just grab the shoulder strap and sling it over your shoulder without having to zip it back onto your carrier. The back side of the carrier, again, molly field, a couple of loop locks at the bottom for um, install, installing additional equipment on the back, lower back portion of the carrier. Standard molly field, um, hook and loop molly, and then some elastic tabs around the side. The top by the shoulder straps, you've got two metal loop locks at either side. This is for the attachment of a dual shoulder sling, um, similar to what uh, the guys at CanSoft are running right now. Uh, the shoulders, the shoulders, you can run a myriad of different shoulder pad options. This particular shoulder is our Tweave low profile wrap shoulder. It's just a light level of padding on the other side. The idea was to keep it as low profile as possible, but you could scale it up to our more traditional Thor shoulders. Um, or AW-107s, which is a rectangular shape, removable armor shoulder. Um, kind of, we all, always evolve and change things. Um, when we build the removable armor shoulders for this particular carrier, um, we actually carry that feature throughout the rest of our products. So all of our shoulders now will have a removable and installable armor. The cummerbund <coughs> on the standard Pico DS is a, is a mesh style cummerbund. Um, there is an SOU style variant uh, that we built specifically for FBI. The SOU variant of the Cumberbund has a Tweave internal pocket. This internal pocket allows you to install armor as well as a piece of poly plastic that gives some rigidity and support to the molly field on the outside. So if you're running pouches, parts, and pieces on the external portion of that Cumberbund, it provides some additional load carriage support and weight distribution. 
And then you also get the addition of two internal Tweave magazine pockets, um, or you could run a small radio. So you get four magazines on the inside of your cummerbund without having to actually molly anything on the outside of the carrier. <coughs> uh, the interior of this carrier is a Tweave. Um, there's a lightweight quarter inch padding on the inside of that. Again, the idea with this carrier was to go as light and as low profile as possible, so we tried to keep that size down to a minimum and just give you some good comfort against the body. Um, so that's our standard Pico DS. Um, where we went from there was, again, we had already built an under two pound lightweight plate carrier that was really durable and, and bomb proof, but we wanted to go one step further. So the yeah. next key mark. Yeah. With, with, with that, uh, a lot of the same features had to be um, really relevant in the next design. So um, the request came about of, hey, we really want to get under two pounds and really focus on how we can actually build a more modular system. As Chris mentioned, the standard DS is, is fit for a specific plate pocket and try not to waste space. Uh, but our, a lot of our customers were asking for whether they were running a level three or a level four plate, and they might change the thickness of that plate depending on what, where they're at in the, in the world. So um, based on that, uh, what we did is we actually added a Tweave outer, outer component to the actual pocket to let that uh, expand and contract. What that allows to do is be able to go with either a thinner or thicker style plate um, and be able to accommodate that inside the carrier itself. It might have the same profile as, as far as the same um, outer, outer face profile, but just a different uh, thickness. Um, and sometimes they're running a level three uh, in conjunction with soft armor. So um, it allows for, for that capability. Um, with that, we also wanted to focus on how we were going to add a, a different buckle mechanism. As you notice, whenever Chris lifted this front flap, it's always having to either remove a, a magazine or remove space out of the top of this to be able to get that flap up. Uh, what we did here is we added an actual tactile, what's called a tacklet buckle, which allows for a positive, uh, positive connection where you actually hear that pop whenever it's actually connected. This is a 350 pound brake tensile strength. Um, the, they've tested it as high up to 380 to 400 uh, pounds of brake tensile strength. Uh, so it's as strong as the webbing or pretty damn close to it. We added just a simple mesh. Uh, this is the standard uh, plate carrier itself. But we added just a simple mesh uh, cover bun with molly on the outside. Has lots of breathability. All of these components can be upgraded to soft armor style cummerbund, which I think is really key. Yeah. Um, on the front, we actually added a, um, a front admin pouch uh, pocket on the front, still being able to put like a juggernaut case or a net warrior style case on the front, depending on which case you're actually using, uh, whether it's uh, juggernaut or cagworks, um, and then have three elastic uh, loops on the inside of this where you can actually run three pistol mags, other tools, three by five card, um, and then be able to put um, identification on the front. Uh, still going with the actual buckles to where I can act actually add chest racks to this. And um, I'm gonna show this next variant being able to add accessories to this carrier's key. So as, as far as a, a standard DSX carrier itself goes, being able to add accessories like radio pockets on the front. Uh, this is an adjustable radio pocket where I can actually add and subtract the actual length of this thing. Being able to add magazine pockets to the sides as well. Now with this carrier, um, we can actually add magazine, magazine, magazine. I can actually, this is actually a shingle style magazine where I can actually run tourniquets on the front or I could actually run a double M4 mag if they, want, if they wanted to there. Um, but in this carrier, in this case, I've got one, two, three, four across the front. Um, my radio on the, uh, on the side and on the back of the carrier itself, I can actually run two lower back magazine pockets or on, on the uh, side as well as charges across the side, um, ac across uh, horizontally. Still has a zip on back uh, panel platform and as well as cable routing, both on the back to be able to route over the, over the back as well as it does on the front. So if I'm running, we mentioned like a juggernaut case on the front, I, it's got four locations to be able to route cables here, 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 and here, to where I can actually route those around and actually get those either over the shoulder, uh, whether I'm running a 117 or another radio system or a formal battery. So, and that's the DSX.